Alright, what's up y'all? Wooly here. And today, we're going to talk about how to get our artifacts up to 200 for free. Now, there may be some patience involved with this because I am going to recommend that you wait till double artifact XP. And I will preface by saying, given the history over the last year, year and a half or so, uh, realistically, we can expect that to happen about mid to late October or November. Um, the double artifact XP has been going for like every three or four months they'll release it so just keep that in mind now this right here was within a week's worth of time so basically I'm gonna tell you to stack your nth metal but I'm gonna show you how to do that I'm gonna show you how to get these detectors um, if you are free to play player or you just don't want to spend money on this game anymore log in get your daily login rewards I want you to save your destiny tokens and I want you to use your fate tokens to buy detectors. So you'll want to use your fate tokens to buy detectors, get them maxed out every week. Um, save your destiny tokens for the sill of completions and the sill of preservation cache because the one thing we want to keep in mind is that at 140 you'll you'll have to start using the seal of completion so you'll need at least four to five seals of completions to get your artifact from 140 to 200 as far as breaking it through um, one stack of these should be enough to take it through 120 you should get it within those 10 usually um, so if you want to test that by all means because I never use the seal of completion on a 120 artifact. I use the Scylla Preservation. So get you a few stacks of these, get you a handful of these for each artifact you want to take up, and make sure that you're buying your Nymph Metal Detectors. So don't come in here and buy the Source Marks or the Quarks or the Ally stuff or the Flawless Nymph Metals. Hold off on those until you are stacked. And then once you have enough of these that you're comfortable with and you think you'll be ready, for breaking through your artifacts, then you can start buying the Nymph Metal. That would be my second recommendation. Uh, but for sure, I'm always going to recommend the Nymph Metal Detector first, and then as far as your Fate Tokens, and then your Destiny Tokens will go here, okay? So that's how we want to prepare as far as getting our seals. Now, getting the Detectors, um, that's going to require a little bit of work, you're gonna to have to grind but nothing crazy so basically I recommend doing the FOS spam right here um, you can see this guy's already looking for one need one for FOS spam so do those FOS spams every day you want to stack up your source marks you want to take your source marks you want to come over here to cyborg and you want to buy these epics and legendaries specifically I would focus on the legendaries those sell for about 12 mil right now um, on the brokers for one so you can sell stacks of them pretty cheap right um, I've sold a lot of crap over the last few days so I don't know if I have a good example here but yeah you can see I sold two epics for eight million three hundred thousand So I'm not going to go through all that, um, but I'm going to show you an example. So we can see here, go to price ascending, take a look at it. So you can see they're going for about four mil a piece, right? Um, but you want to get a stack. You want to get as many as you can and then put it in the broker for a big stack because that's when it starts to pay off, right? And we'll take a look at the legendary. So you can see these are starting out 11, 12 mil at the bare minimum. Somebody's going to snatch those up. If somebody was smart, they would snatch those up and, and then put them back in there for a couple mil extra. So I would probably snatch these up and put them in there for 24.5. Right. 
but as you can see when you start to add bigger stacks you can make a lot of money so realistically I'll put five in there for about 75 mil and that'll go in no time you're not really hurting yourself by undercutting the competition just a little bit um, you're just guaranteeing yourself a much quicker sell these will go within a day usually two at max right um, so that's how we want to maximize selling the allies stuff so if you're comfortable with your allies go ahead and start selling that stuff off like mine are pretty much where I'm happy with them for now I'm not in a hurry to get them I'd rather make that money and get those detectors as far as the detectors um, that's what we're gonna use that money on so you're gonna go in type in detector go to price ascending and then we're gonna go to consumable so take a look at them here I never recommend buying them for 8 mil uh, I would try to keep it within the four, five, six mil range. Seven, if you're desperate and you just need one because you're going to run some stuff. <clears throat> Otherwise, come over here when you get those big payoffs and buy yourself a fat stack. Just make sure that it makes sense financially because you want to do the math. You want to make sure that you're not going to be paying seven or eight mil per detector um, so this might be a decent buy but you want to make sure that if you're buying in bulk like this you have um, each detector coming out to about five to six mil because you're buying in bulk you should be getting a better deal on it so don't jump on the first fat stack you see unless you don't mind paying that price just be mindful of how much you're going to be paying but like I said that's what we want to do we want to sell those items um, the allegiance for the allies and we want to come over here and just snatch up all the detectors that we can so I've made about 600 mil over the last couple of days between both of my characters or within the last week uh, and I've just bought a ton of detectors I think I've bought about 60 to 70 of them and I've used a ton of them but I still have about 20 on each of my characters I just re-upped uh, also the hairstyles now the auras and the materials sell really well but the hairstyles tend to sell a little bit better um, this bang style that you see here comes from the doomed vendor the doomed DC vendor um, it will usually go from anywhere from 120 to 150 usually when I put it in or when I look in there before I sell it um, somebody's got it up for about 150 see somebody's got it up for 150 I don't know how long that's been in there I'll typically sell mine for about 100 mil 120 mil depending on the next price up and it usually sells within a day so save your justice tokens save your death metal tokens um, sorry not death metal your Wayne casino tokens grains of time um, you can buy the death metal from rip but I would just buy the styles and then resell those styles and use that money to um, buy more detectors because the detectors are going to be the biggest bet in the long run so run your duos every day run your four mans every day All right come down here and we want to run this one this one and then the four mans of the same episode um, and that's going to be our investment. We're going to save up those tokens, and as soon as we can buy a good material, aura, or hairstyle, we're going to drop it in the broker and get the best price we can get. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to buy those detectors. And then by the time Double Artifact XP rolls around, you should be sitting fat and stacked with an inventory full of Nymph Metal. So we'll revisit this in a couple of weeks and see what kind of progress we have made 
in that time. So let me know in the comments down below how you guys are doing on stacking. If you're new to the channel, consider sticking around and giving us a sub. Uh, if you're a returning viewer, as always, I appreciate it. I hope this helps somebody out. I think a lot of people are already doing things like this, uh, so nothing new to them. But for those who aren't as well versed in finessing the broker, hopefully this helps you, especially if you're a free-to-play player. Uh, we want to maximize what we can without spending any money. So anyways, guys, that's what I got for you today. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you next time.